Hey, YouTube, how's it going? You know, I've been using the royalty-free Creative Commons licensed music from Incompetech.com for quite some time now. I think probably well over a year. Not only have I been using it, but I've been recommending it and praising it to everybody that says anything about needing Creative Commons music or royalty-free music that they can use that doesn't cost them a fortune. Kevin McLeod at Incompetech.com has got some really fantastic music. I love most of the music on that site, and he's got tons and tons of it, and he's always adding new stuff. It's great. It's fantastic music. But, starting a few days ago, I started getting content ID match notifications from YouTube about Audio Micro One, which apparently is now handling Incompetech.com's music. And this means that they put this claim out there, this content ID match, and if you don't dispute it, their advertising will run next to your video. And if you're not a YouTube partner, that's no big deal. It costs you nothing. It makes them some money so that Kevin McLeod can make some money from his music, which he deserves. It's great music. But the problem is that they're hitting partners with this too. Now, of course, it's a great big hairy secret about how that system works. Nobody knows whether they could actually decide to exempt partners from this BS because here's what that means. You're a partner. You're using Competech.com's royalty-free Creative Commons licensed music, which means that you use the music. What you're legally supposed to do is to credit where you got the music. Cool. I've been doing that either in the video description or in credits at the end of my videos or both. I don't have a problem with that. But then Audio Micro One comes along with their content claim and they automatically, as a result, get to start monetizing the video, my video, even though I'm using the music legitimately according to the license on the site. And in order to get things fixed, you see, this claim prevents me from enabling revenue sharing. Oh, I wanted to say one other thing, too. I am very well aware of the thing where you can email Audio Micro and request to be added to the whitelist for Incompetech so that you don't get any more of these claims. I have, in fact, used that email request twice on two different channels, and I have gotten apparently ignored because the only thing, the only results is I get a little robot form letter that tells me to do what I just did and then on the next video I upload I get another BS content claim so their little whitelist does not work <laughs>